Now, the family of a medical student who died before boarding a plane from the Philippines will get to bury their daughter. The KwaZulu-Natal government says that the repatriation process of 28-year-old Snegugu Mnyeni has begun. The final year student was on arranging to travel back home to South Africa before falling ill at the airport last week. Let's bring in KZN Acting Premier Nomagugu Similani for more on this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's just first start with when can we or the family, more importantly, expect the body of Snegugu back in the country? Um, good day to you and good day to your viewers. Thank you for having us. In as far as we had arrangements uh, with the airline and with the um, government of the Philippines, our expected date of the arrival of the body it was the 22nd um, of, of, of July. And as you would know, normally the expo well, the, the fetching of the body really doesn't is not usually that quick. It sometimes takes beyond, or it often takes beyond four to five weeks. However, in this case, because we've then had to um, have engagements with the ambassador of South Africa in the Philippines, who then assisted us to get in touch with the uh, uh, government of the Philippines, we were then given the day of the 22nd. However, this morning we have been informed that we are still awaiting a letter or a final letter of, of releasing of the body from the doctor, and we believe it might not take uh, more than two days. So our 22nd might be shifted to the 23rd or the 24th. However, that is still quite reasonable considering the amount of time that we would have wasted, we would have waited otherwise. Uh, Mr. Milani, uh, of course, you know, the mother of Snegugu, she made a plea in a video um, that basically went viral on social media as well, asking for help and assistance to get her daughter's body back to South Africa. Um, it does seem, though, that she had to go through extreme lengths in order for this process to finally take shape. Why is that? You, you often find that uh, communities don't usually know where to go to when they need assistance, especially when it comes to such matters and matters that are relating to international um, uh, governments or international waters. As a provincial government, we've never received any request from the family or anyone who actually works with the family. However, on Sunday evening, our Director General, uh, Dr. Nontan Lamkize, saw the video of Ms. Mieni online, and immediately in the morning, she consulted myself, the Premier, and the whole Executive Council, and we agreed that we should assist. And immediately, we dispatched a team that went to the Mieni family together with the Mayor of uh, Utrecht, which is called Emma Dangeni, and that's how we were able to start the process. So so, you know, we, we are not going to be pointing fingers on how or why they, we did not get the, the issue first as, as a government, but we are very much aware that our communities often don't know where to go should they be faced with a situation of their loved ones that are outside the country. And we do make a call that uh, our, our, our communities must understand and probably always get in touch with the, the embassies in the countries where they are visiting or where they are studying. And we want to inform our communities that should there be an issue in any other country with your loved one, your, for, your first point of call should always be government because we can always get in touch with, that, with our embassies, whether here in South Africa or in the country of point. All right. So, like you said, you know, it's usually people don't know what route to follow when it comes to something like this. Also, you know, it isn't something that happens um, every day. So it is something out of the ordinary, if you'd like to call it that. So understandably so. Um, but I do want to know, I think there's a lot of questions regarding, you know, the circumstances around the death of Snegugu. Um, what do you know? Um, what was the cause of death here, if you can tell us? And... Um, be, all that we know is she fell ill at the airport, but that is just, you know, it can't be the only answer to what exactly took place. So what do you know? That, that is the, the information that we also have. We have requested the embassy or the ambassador in Philippines to get in touch, and he has started uh, to actually engage with the authorities that side. That is why we are also waiting for the letter from the doctor to just give us the information. But as you would know, we would not be at liberty to disclose the cause of death 
of, of any person unless the family allows us to do so. But yes, we are helping the family to get some answers and, and closure in the matter because where they are sitting, they know that their daughter was well and suddenly their daughter came back, uh, was sick, was not allowed to come uh, to, to board a plane and, and, and suddenly passed away. We have requested the ambassador to assist us with getting the answers for that. Hmm. And um, do we know this doctor that you mentioned um, in the Philippines, um, is, the, is he performing a post-mortem on, on the body? Yes, we believe so. All right. Um, so I think my, my last questions would then be when it comes to the funeral arrangements now of Snegugu, will you be assisting the family? Definitely. We, we are working with the family uh, to make sure that we, we, we send uh, their loved one to rest respectfully. We do not believe that uh, the, 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 the noise that had surrounded her passing away is actually giving the respect that it deserves. You know, as, as African Africans and in African societies, once someone has passed on, we want to bury them with, with dignity. And we don't want to be any noise over the burial of our loved one and uh, of our loved one and as a provincial government we are going to make sure that uh, usne kuku is buried with, with dignity we are continuing to engage with the family we are in touch with the family and we will be able to give a date of the funeral as soon as we know when the body will land and of course that will be done together in consultation with the family because it cannot be government that decides she definitely deserves a, a, a funeral uh, with dignity, of course. Um, and then, you know, the family, of course, they're suffering here as well because they lost a loved one who they probably haven't seen in, in so many months, um, I assume, because she was abroad. Um, are you going to give them any psychological support in this regard? In fact, uh, when, when we started our interview, I should have said as the provincial government, we do want to send our condolences um, to the family on the passing of their loved ones, because like you said, this is not a, something that happens quite often. So it does require all of us to actually come closer to the family and, and assist. And yes, definitely we, are, we will be providing psychological support because as uh, immediately when we met with the family, we had an engagement with uh, Umamumi and we discovered that actually there were other issues that needed support from government and issues that I cannot uh, necessarily speak about. So we have started the process of providing the support in relation to the uh, passing on of Snekuku and in relation to the other challenges that the family is faced with. Mm. Thank you so much, of course, Acting Premier, KZN Premier, Noma Gugu Similane, for an update on, uh, you know, getting um, uh, Snegugu Mieni's body back to South Africa, the repatriation of her body. From what we understand is she did fall ill at the airport in the Philippines. Um, our government is in contact with the Philippines government and, of course, uh, in order to get her body back. That date, the 22nd, unfortunately, not the date that her body will be coming back to South Africa, like the acting premier just mentioned, um, but maybe a few days after that date. We're not exactly sure what that date is is but we will be giving you an update as soon as we do find out it is quite a quite sad story because she was a final year medical student and she had a bright future ahead of her so it is quite sad that something like this happened um and and of course you know not even on south african soil but in a different country um so definitely condolences to the whole family and especially her mother